What's good, angels? It's your girl, Earth Angel, and actually all up on your screen with another episode of this session. Happy New Year, guys. Welcome to 2020. Alright, that's I'm gonna look down to 2020. Yeah, I'm so happy to be back with all of you. I'm sure everybody has big goals and big dreams this year. So do I and my loved ones and those close to me. So I'm very excited to see what all of us are going to accomplish as a family this year. I have big dreams, big goals, big plans for this family. And I just can't wait for all of it to just be unboxing this year like a Christmas. That's so we I got us a full present. So anyways, for this video, I just wanted to give a recap on how the year was and you know a few things that happened that maybe I didn't get to share with you guys and so on and so on and so forth. Now there's two particular things that I want to do in this video. One, I want to give like a, a checklist of what we predicted in 2019. For those of you who are followed from last year, you would have seen my 2019 predictions video. Um, I'll link that to the description box below so that you can check it out if you didn't see it. We made four predictions of what's going to happen in Dance Hall for 2019. So we're going to go through them for things and see if it actually go on, if the predictions was right. And also, I have a video that I did with a really good friend of mine where we talked briefly about the whole Jada Shensia situation. I'm going to say that kind of did know. Kind of bad, really busy is about Jada and Shensia beef anymore. That's with Jada and Shensia themselves. But I'm going to go waste footage. Sorry, so I'm just going to include like a synopsis of what that conversation was at the end of this video. Say so, yeah, only can look out for that. So without further ado, let's jump into this episode. All right, peeps. So one of our predictions last year was that Spice was gonna have a difficult 2019, and the reason behind that is because of how 2018 went. Now I said in the prediction video, which you'll see when you watch it, that. Because of some little things that was going on with her and the music and all of that, her fans particularly was getting a little bit frustrated. So because of that, I expected her to have a difficult 2019. True time fact, for 2019, I really think Spice took the time out to focus on herself and her music and her family. She was really mommy Spice for the whole 2019, you know, with she and her kids, posting a lot of videos about them. Um, she dropped a couple good songs, but not telling you know, all like her that bad man out and that did that did nice a little remix that did good when she did it and that's uh, my highlight of the year for Spice to be honest and the fact that she bought her sister a car that was nice too so I hold it for good things I'm for Spice in her 2019 despite the fact that it never started all good in her favor so big up to you Spice, I think you struggle this year to maintain your position in a dance hall and it work so kudos to you Another prediction that we had, guys, was coffee. That coffee, the brand coffee, the artist, the little pocket of sunshine, was going to be big and take charge in a 2019. And I never lie, me I tell. I never lie, me I tell. That's our one prediction. We were so proud of, but very proud of it. But come and tell us, I'm telling us that 2018 done, and everybody know a toast. Our what's that name? A toast, right? Yeah, 2019 done, and everybody know a toast. And then, no, 2018 done, everybody know to us big song internationally, but nobody really know the artist. Nobody really know who is Coffee. And I predicted that 2019 was going to be the year that Coffee was going to make our face, our brand, and everything known. And I was not far from the truth. Everybody know Coffee. Everybody know Coffee come from. Everybody know Coffee age, Coffee period, Coffee heritage. She had some big collabs this year and really take ownership of business as an artist and i'm so proud of her i'm gonna know she has bigger and better things for 2020 so i'm gonna start look out for coffee continue shell the place so big up see you coffee you had an amazing year as well another prediction that we had angels was that alkaline was going to win for 2019 no i'm gonna tell you you see that one year now i don't know how to feel about it because in my mind, I think he did really win for 2019. Like, I think he did have a few highlight moments, like when Iman Squash and the rest of Six did a beef. I think he did get all of her PR them time that people did a talk about Alkaline. But otherwise, from that, like a song now popping on my head immediately when I know Alkaline dropped last year, where it was like, you know, hot pop, like hot potty pan street. What? Hot potty pan street kind of? Where my analogy come from? But, anyways. 
I don't know. So you guys can comment down below how you feel about that. I'm really on the fence. I don't know whether or not 2019 was a good year for Alkaline. In the grand scheme of what we know Alkaline can accomplish. So I'm going to leave that up to you, my angels, to decide. So comment down below whether or not you believe that Alkaline had a winning 2019 come. I'm not sure. I'm not like. Our final prediction last year for 2019 was that Popcorn was going to accomplish way more for him and the Unruly Camp after being signed to OVO. So it was really a celebratory moment for us in that video where Popcorn is concerned because we just done Unruly Face and we hear some OVO sign him and all are excited and I really predicted that he was going to not take this and squander it like a lot of artists who get these type of opportunities. I predicted that he was going to reinvest in himself, in artists, in business and push that forward. And I mean, in my opinion, I think he accomplished some of that in 2019. Now it's not like if he just signed for one year, it's going to continue throughout in contract or whatever how that part of business work. But I think for 2019, within first year in that scheme or whatever, he did well. The Unruly brand grew a lot in 2019. Anybody who don't know Unruly, I would have the rock. Unruly Fest this year was bigger and better. So you know, see how more money get pushed in Unruly Fest. So that was good. Um, him do a lot more charity work. We see him a lot all over the place. Him travel a lot more this year. And not just him alone, but the artists them can him label. Me think do well in 2019 as well. Then get a whole heap of highlights and a whole heap of shows. Every minute you see quarter pan playing. So I think 2019 was a good start for him with the investment that he received from OVO. So yeah, I think we did good. With our predictions, I think everything that we talked about actually came to pass. The only thing I'm going to show was an alkaline. I'm going to really sure if Spice did for say have a terrible year because I think she really come out on top. So Spice proved us wrong this year, people. And not no wrong. That is the purpose of this session for us to point out things. But then the artists go and pray and look into themselves and say, John, you know, say that true. Fix it and come back again. Like, we just want people to be better. Because at the end of the day, dance all our own. Well, and if we know, so about it, then it now go get better. So I just saw it set. So let me know what you guys think about the predictions that we had and how everything unraveling at 2019 and all of these things. How was your 2019? You didn't have any goals where you accomplished where you want to share. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, as I told you, I have a clip that I want to show you that we talked about. It's not gonna be long, I'm trying to keep it, I'm gonna try to keep it to at least two and a half minutes um that's the major points of what we, we we talked about regarding the whole jada shensia thing and you guys can comment below on that as well i'm gonna just close off the video here so when this is done then you can watch that clip and we can finish the conversation on social media so follow me on instagram facebook all those links are in the description down below remember to subscribe to my channel if you made it this far in the video then you like me so subscribe <laughs> so that you don't miss any of my future uploads and as i always let you know walk good all the beautiful people out there in the world bye angels